Hello, this is Dr. Garcia. Before we get started, let's get reacquainted with our internal organs. Many people confuse an enema with colon hydrotherapy or colonic irrigations. An enema just cleans the lowest 12 inches, more or less, of your large intestine. In contrast, when doing colon hydrotherapy, the fluid goes up the left side of your intestines, across your transverse colon, and down your ascending colon, extending into your cecum, thus cleaning out your entire large intestine when done correctly. Let's examine a healthy colon. Take note of the homogeneity, the smoothness, the equal coloring within the lumen of a healthy colon. In stark contrast, this is an unhealthy colon. Notice the number of polyps, the irregularities, its obvious red, angry color. Let's compare a healthy colon on the left side of the screen with an unhealthy colon on the right side of the screen. In the healthy colon, the lumen, the channel through which the fecal matter passes, is homogeneous in color, it is smooth, and is contoured. There are no obvious irregularities or protrusions. In contrast, the unhealthy colon appears inflamed, the red color to it, and has numerous polyps, all of which are attached to the colon through stems or stalks. Now, let's dissect a polyp so that we may better understand the anatomical relationship between the polyp and the colon. Here we have a cross-section of a polyp-infected colon. As you can see, some of the stalks or the stems are relatively superficial, yet others protrude through the entire mucosal level of the large intestine. One thing I have to admit, medicine does have an awful lot of cool toys. Here is part of the system used to doing a polypectomy or the removal of a polyp from the colon. As you can see, there is no way that this instrument will take out the roots of any polyp. Thus, doing a polypectomy is akin to removing a dandelion while leaving the root system intact. The same thing happens when you do a polypectomy. As I hope this video has demonstrated, doing a polypectomy is akin to popping the zit or the pimple on a teenager. The pimples are not the problem, just like the polyps are not the problem. They are the symptoms. The question is, why do you get the polyps? And more importantly, how do you prevent them from coming back? Prevention is mainstream medicine's Achilles heel, while it is utopia's forte. We know that physicians cannot cure, however, patients can heal. Healing is not the same thing as curing. In order for anyone to heal, you need a competent immune system. And a competent immune system starts with a healthy colon. Welcome to Holistic Medicine.